Hello guys, I hope you're all doing okay. I thought I would start off what I think is going to be my birth vlog or a clip to go in my birth vlog. I kind of don't really know yet. I'm currently three days overdue. It is Sunday the 25th of June and I'm officially three days overdue my NHS due date. But I have always thought that this is my actual due date because um, I tracked my cycle like religiously when we were trying to conceive and based on like when I ovulated and when I think we conceived and all that kind of stuff, the dates like calculated to today being my due date. So officially like the NHS due date is three days past. However, this is what I think the due date is. So we're keeping positive. It is very hard in this heat. I don't know when you guys would be watching this. Um, and if you guys remember, we had a heat wave basically for like two weeks, at least two weeks at this point in the UK. And it is so hot. It's currently 11 o'clock in the morning and it is 28 degrees outside. I'm sweating um, and just like really uncomfortable. I'm just opening the curtains a little bit but I have just woken up from a little nap because I am just knackered and bless her my mum is downstairs looking after George um Ash is also downstairs we're all here we're all at our like battle stations ready to go if anything happens and I'm not having to do too much like running around which I'm so so incredibly grateful for however this morning I took George out on a little ride on um fire engine thing that we uh, got him on the cycle track we just like were going up and down that and then he got off the fire engine and literally ran off like ran off so fast and so far and I had to run after him um and I'm obviously three days overdue my due date and I had to run after him on the cycle track because he was literally going to go into the road. I don't know what came over him, but it was really scary and I had to run and I was exhausted when I came back. So we had a little nap. <laughs> we, me and the baby girl, had a little nap um, just now and I've just woken up and I'm, I kind of feel a bit crampy and a bit just like, Blah, but I just feel like that's nothing. Like I don't actually feel like that's labour or anything like that. I just feel like it's... I'm really close to that happening. So the last few days I've just been like really heavy, uncomfortable, hot, sweaty, swollen, no fun basically. On Friday, so two days ago, I had my 40 week midwife appointment as well and they did a stretch and sweep for me. And they said when they were examining me that my cervix is sitting at two to three centimeters dilated already. Um, baby is really, really far down. Like she could touch her head and everything when she, gone up there um and she was like yeah your cervix is really like short and like ripe and like ready to go and I wouldn't be surprised she was like I wouldn't be surprised if you had the baby tonight and that was on Friday um and it's now Sunday and no baby and no signs no contractions I've had like quite a bit of mucus um well it's not mucus plug I don't know it's like a quite a heavy discharge but definitely not like the mucus plug because like I remember what that bad boy looked like and it was it was hefty um so yeah nothing so far and then last night on saturday um we went to my sister-in-law's 40th birthday party um and that like i was thinking oh we'll go there and because we're having fun and like not thinking about it like things will kick off and nothing happened we actually got a curry after that as well we had a vindaloo we shared that um and nothing since then um and yeah it's 11 o'clock so it is almost 48 hours after i had my stretch and sweep at 12 o'clock it'll be 48 hours and they kind of say like if the stretch and sweep is effective labor happens like 48 hours after um or like within the 48 hours after that which it hasn't so that's kind of annoying and i haven't got another midwife appointment they didn't have another appointment until thursday um which will be when i'm 41 weeks i'm really hoping i don't go to 41 weeks but i think i might so i don't know i thought i'd start the vlog here because it's something to do something to chat about um and those are the things that have happened so far i've also drank like all the pineapple juice and um had a whole pineapple to myself as well nothing so all of these old wives tales <laughs> are not working for me trust me we've tried everything and i mean everything yes yes we've tried that as well so nothing's happening but obviously yeah i'll keep you posted 
um, as much as I can. I don't know, like I said, if this is going to be like a whole birth vlog or like clips within a birth story. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm three days overdue and no sign of baby. But I'll catch up with you in the next clip when hopefully something happens. Still pregnant. <laughs> so it's five days, I think, after I last saw you. I am officially one week overdue my NHS due date. Um, so I've got a midwife appointment today, my 41 week midwife appointment, where I think they're going to give me another sweep. Um, I had my sweep like a week ago or six days ago and definitely got contract uh, sorry I definitely got um like tightenings and crampings and stuff but nothing really materialized from that so I'm hoping that this sweep does the job um my midwife did say that I was like really um like ready like my cervix was like thin and short and I was already a couple of centimeters dilated but Clearly that didn't mean much because <laughs> nothing has happened since then. So I'm kind of hoping that that's the same now and you know my body is almost there and this sweep, second sweep is gonna get me on my on my way. Because yeah, if I've been having cramps and stuff like every evening, like in my lower back and across my lower stomach. Um, but they are nothing more than that. Like it kind of just feels like I've got a bit of a tummy ache and I need to do a big poo. Um, or like period pains basically. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Like nothing else has really happened. I've been having, I've said already, didn't I, a couple of days ago or in the last clip you saw me, I had like quite a lot of discharge, um, but like nothing else really dramatic other than that. So yeah, I'm a week overdue and I'm starting to get Impatient. I'm not gonna lie, the messages starting to roll in <laughs> um, from like friends, family, like you guys as well and I've just like decided to come off of social media because I can't be looking at my phone every five minutes like oh you're quiet so it must mean you're in labour. I'm like I'm not in labour, nothing's happening. Um, so I've just kind of come off of social media and this is gonna be probably my first video back um, after the baby is born which is hopefully gonna be very soon. I mean it can't be any more than a week because they won't let me go to like more than 42 weeks. Um, I do really, really want to have a non-induced labour um, and delivery, but I also don't mind because if I do have to be induced, if like they're going to probably set a date for me today, probably going to book me in for an induction in a few days time, I assume, because um, I am 41 weeks pregnant now. So I'm assuming that yeah, I've only got seven days to play with until they start to like, I don't know, make me or in encourage me to have uh, an induction. I had an induction with George, like I know what an induction process is, my body coped with it very well last time and I had a positive experience. So if I have to be induced, like so be it. And to be honest, at least then I'll have a date and my mind can be at ease and hopefully then things can just happen naturally because I'll have a date sort of thing. Um, I don't really know. But I would really like to do this naturally because I really want to give birth on the birth centre. I want to have a, um, like a water birth. Um, I want to not be monitored and, and all that kind of stuff. Like in an ideal world, that would be my situation. However, I've done it the other way before and it was also fine and a great experience. So I feel like I've just got to be open about it. And I've actually done a little bit of research on the hospital that I'd be going to if I have to be induced and the ward and everything and actually they've got much better facilities in this ward in this hospital than the one that I gave birth at last time so they have wireless monitoring if you are induced there's actually a birthing pool on the ward that you would like be induced on and um, like the labor ward sorry there's one birthing pool so if you're lucky if you're one of the like if you're the lucky person basically then you can get that um obviously like I'm not high risk there's nothing bad happening like baby is healthy as far as I know obviously like we need to check today at my midwife appointment but she's moving loads still like there's no clinical reason that I would have to be induced other than the fact that obviously after 42 weeks things start to get a bit more risky um I'm gonna ask questions about like the exact statistics and stuff of like what the percentage is and the increase of like you know risk is if you go beyond 42 weeks um because I know you can like if you really really want to push for it you can push to go beyond that it's your choice obviously they're not going to let you take 
any decision that's going to be harmful for your baby or you but like I know that I'm at the moment there's nothing implying that anyone's unhappy or there's any reason for um her to be you know unsafe but we'll see I am however just getting impatient and uncomfortable like just so uncomfortable so yeah I don't know okay I'm out of my midwife equipment I've had my second stretch and sweep um and she said exactly what she said last time basically that i am two to three centimeters dilated she said you're about two centimeters but i could easily stretch you to three um my yeah like my cervix is like really short and thin prime like <laughs> positioning whatever baby's in a great position her head is like really really in there like yeah she couldn't like push their head away or anything like that basically like engaged and like fully ready to go but that's what she said six days ago so you know I don't really know um what that means she said like she gave me a sweep it definitely it was definitely a bit more um intense this time so I think maybe she did it like a bit more thoroughly um I don't really I don't know well maybe it's just hurt a little bit more but definitely like my stomach she said like there's not much room in there is there like I definitely feel a lot more I don't know just really ready and like I, like I said I've been having cramps and stuff already obviously on to the induction um she actually said that they have moved the guidance forward at this hospital <clears throat> that I'm gonna be giving birth out that I'm booked in at um she said that uh, it used to be term plus 12 and now they've brought it forward and based on the availability they said that they had it's currently Thursday I think yeah it's currently Thursday and I'm booked in for my induction on Sunday so Sunday the 2nd of July um, if I don't go into labour naturally before that and you know what I'm fine with it and if I have an induction I'm I'm happy with it like I'm, I'm I feel confident about it I feel like my body is so ready to give birth to this baby that I just think as soon as I like have my waters popped like I think it will just come like really really quickly like George was really quick after I had my waters popped at four centimeters um yeah that happened I think it was I'm pretty sure it was four I was at four centimeters and they popped my waters or I was at three centimeters they put my waters and then he came within two hours and 48 minutes like that was my whole active labor stage so I mean chances are with a second baby it will be even quicker right I think we will we will see I don't know um I don't know how this birth vlog is going to go either because I don't know how like filming's going to go like when I'm actually in actual labor I don't really know um we'll see we'll see oh i'm actually really relieved about having that date but i do feel quite crampy at the moment um from that stretch and sweep so i'm gonna go um and get some food and maybe have a lie down and then bounce on my ball and catch up with you when something happens i don't know what that thing is whether that's me going into labor naturally fingers crossed or going in on sunday for my induction Oh, right. See you soon. Just tell me where and I'll come see ya Cause 
Now 